how to use the power of AI inside your Google Sheet to do keyword context classification. What does it mean? Well, simply put, if you have a blog, right, you want to write a lot of content, you went to these websites like HRF, Seamless, and Seamless, whatever, uh, you downloaded a list of thousands of keywords. But now you have to go through each one of them to see which one is what you want to do. So for, uh, for this particular case, uh, there is a legal company, let's say, which wants to write different blogs. Now, some of the keywords are related to what they want to write about, and the others are just not what they are interested in. So we will see how we can classify them based on the context so that we can sort, uh, sort that whole thousands of keywords in a single scroll and just work on what is interested rather than having to waste hours or having to hire a VA to just do that. Let's see. Now, before I continue, I am doing this for like a legal, non-legal kind of thing. What you can do this for different use cases can be, let's say you are an e-commerce company and you want to only target the keywords which have a buyer buying intent. You can guess that as well. You can just say classify the keyword according to uh, whether it is a uh, person is inter uh, interested in buying or might end up converting. You can ju just be yourself. Just express and ask the AI. Give it some examples so that it understands what you want with exactly and done. So let's see how it works. So first of all, to use the power of AI inside your Google Sheet, the first step will be to visit sheetai.app. Sheetai.app gives you the power of AI inside your Google Sheets. So just visit sheetai.app, download the app. There is a next page if you need some installation help. There is a whole guide about that. Once you have the app, you just need to go extension sheetai app and launch. Once you launch the app, you will have this new function called sheetai. So what this function is does just Sheet AI, you just explain what you want and it will return you the output. <clears throat> so over here, what I have done, I said, classify the keyword according to whether it is related to legal concept or non-legal concept. So then I did the full stops. This is the description to, mo to my AI. Then I give it examples, conspiracy theories, colon, non-legal, comma, space. Now each and every things I want <clears throat> you to focus on this because any of this can like um, make the AI confused. So we want to keep it consistent so that AI can understand. Very simple, I keep a space, then I write what uh, the word I am going to provide to the AI, and then I wrote the response. Comma, space, give the word, colon, then I want the response from the AI. Comma, space, give the word which I want, and then I expected the response. Now over here I added this space, so I'll remove that, and over here I misspelled it, but still AI Pro gave the proper answer. So yeah, it can work, but I just want you to get the best results, right? That's why I'm just spending this time. So yeah, just explain it. And then you see over here what I did is space, then provide the word by saying A2, and then I provided semicolon, because if I don't, what AI is expecting is after the word, we need to provide a semicolon and then provide legal or non-legal. So we put it there by default, so that AI will be like, we don't have to provide the semicolon, we just have to provide this legal or non-legal. Once it's done, just hit enter. Now, once you have generated for one of these, you can just scroll it down and done. And uh, you can see all of these are simply generated just with a single scroll. So you can do this with different categories. I'd love to see how, what you use it for. And if you have any other use case, do let me know in the comment. I'll make a tutorial for that. See you in the next one.